Do you love dogs? Yes, I do. Yeah, I just love them. Yeah, I do love them. Yeah, very Yeah. What about stray dogs? Bangalore, Asia's fastest growing city. With a population of 6 million and around 2.5 million vehicles, it has evolved tremendously over the past few years. Hundreds of software companies have sprung up just in five years, opening a lot of opportunity for employment. Malls and multiplexes are now found everywhere. People have so less time for themselves that they have forgotten their best companion, dog. Different people, different opinion. ಡಾಕ್ಸ್ <laughs> let us try to understand the reason behind aggressive behavior of stray dogs dr lohit who works for cupa has a veterinarian tells that the first part of aggression in a dog's life begins when it is protected by its mother. Uh, usually most common you have uh, the stray dogs, stray females littering uh, more than 5 months. 5 is an average uh, number of pups that they litter. And they are close to around 1 month. Uh, they are uh, feeding on the mother. Uh, After 1 month uh, they start moving out and then start searching for food. So most of the pups they usually get stuck with the same locality. Some might move out so it depends on the food availability in the same locality. The female pup comes to maturity, say around 7 to 8 months of period. Uh, the maturity in male dogs is bit later, so it's more than one year. And uh, the female dogs produce uh, pheromones, which are uh, the hormones. And the male dogs can detect the smell of these pheromones from, uh, say, about half a kilometer, more than half a kilometer uh, distance. That's how when you have uh, one female dog which is in cycle, you have about uh, 9 or 10 dogs running. This is one of the major causes of aggression among male dogs. Each one tries to dominate and suppress the other competitor, which generally leads to dog fights. The pregnancy period of dog is 2 months. A female dog litters about 5 to 6 pups at a time. Due to this high fertility among the stray dogs, each female dog enters pregnancy period twice a year. Dogs remain sexually active till the age of 10 years. Therefore, a female dog during its lifetime can produce around 95 to 120 litters. This high population rate led to major nuisance in cities. So, what do you think the solution is? Removal of dogs from a particular area? This is not a solution because each area has a sustenance value, that is the number of dogs an area can sustain. This value depends on various factors such as garbage that gets accumulated, food sources such as butcher shops, hotels, fast foods, etc. So, even if all the dogs are removed from an area, vacuum is created and some of the dogs will move in to fill that lacuna. Let us recall the procedure that was being adopted by corporation to reduce the population of dogs. Preview. Is
Is this right? Is this effective? Is this what man's best friend deserved? No, mass killing isn't right. Not only it is ethically wrong, but also it's very ineffective solution for problems that humans face. As mentioned by Dr. Lohit, the fertility rate in stray dogs is very high. So mass killing is not the solution, which was understood by the corporation and thankfully this doesn't happen anymore. So the root cause behind all the problems is the exponential growth in the dog's population. Therefore, ABC, animal birth control is such a method which acts on the root of the cause, that is, it sterilizes the dog. ABC has many advantages and is actually a solution for most of the problems faced. First of all, the reproductive cycle of a dog is stopped permanently. Female dogs do not produce hormones which attracts male dogs. Therefore, dog fights are minimized. It makes the dog more calm as it does not enter the heat period. So what happens during this ABC? What does a dog undergo? When we lodge a complaint in the corporation, we think we have done our part of duty. But has anyone tried to know what happens when a dog is being taken by the dog van? Here is a typical day of a dog catching van. The complaints are being lodged and noted in a complaint register. Based on these complaints, a particular area is being targeted. The dog catching squad survey a particular area to find the most common spot where these stray dogs are found. Using the lasso, the dogs are caught. Even the job of catching dogs is not so easy. There are generally conflicts among neighbors. Some of them want the dogs to be removed and few others don't want them to be removed. As we saw the other day, there was a hotel owner who had complained that these dogs do not allow any of his customers to enter the road. They bark and chase them causing a lot of problem to the hotel staff. Whereas the person in the opposite metalwork shop wanted these dogs to remain there itself as they guarded his tools and machinery during night. The squad also had a tough time explaining people that these dogs will move calm once they are operated. But all that they wanted is the removal of dogs from their area. The dogs that are caught are taken into the van. Their details such as the area are wrote from where they are being picked and their body features like color patch and build are recorded and taken to the dog pound. Once they are brought to the pound, they are kept in separate cages and fed only with water as they have to undergo operation the next day. Just before the operation, the dogs are given anesthesia and laid outside. Prior to the operation, the left portion below the stomach of a female dog is shaved. The operation procedure takes around a minute in case of male dog and around 5 minutes for a female dog. In male dogs, castation is done, that is, removal of testicles. And the procedure what we use this is pre-scrotal. Whereas for female dogs, all the ovaries and uterus are removed. After the operation, a notch is made on the ear to indicate that it has been neutered and has undergone the ABC so program. Only for indication that animal has undergone sterilization. Hmm. Post operation, a male dog is given a rest period of one day and a female dog three days. Then, 
These dots are colored to indicate that they have been vaccinated against rabies and other skin diseases. In Bangalore, more than 300 dogs are being sterilized every day. Some dogs which are caught are diseased. That is, either they are rabid or have a contagious skin disease. Some of them might also be infectious around injuries. Such dogs are identified and a panel of doctors decide whether they can be cured or not. If a particular dog is not fit to be rehabilitated back on the streets, then mercy killing is done. That is, dog is euthanized for good. On an average, around 500 dogs are being euthanized per month. Finally, the dog is being put back to the same area from where it was caught. Till now, ABC has proved to be very effective and has emerged a long-term solution to control dog population. So, what can you and I do to make this life of man's best friend better? The first step should be against garbage disposal. Never let garbage accumulate in your area. These are the spots where you generally find dogs. These are the trouble spots where dogs tend to bark and chase the bypasses. By effectively managing garbage disposal, we can decrease the sustenance value of our area. Each one of us should be aware of the dogs that live in our locality, or at least in our road. Make sure that each of these dogs are sterilized and vaccinated. This is called passive adoption. You may or may not feed these dogs, but make sure that if a new dog enters your locality, it is neutered and vaccinated. That is, it should have a clip on its ear. When a dog or dogs in your locality are being picked up for ABC program, make a note of the date and the dog which was taken. The vaccination dose against rabies and other skin diseases has to be reboosted every year. Therefore, make sure that the dogs in your locality are being vaccinated regularly. Finally, the kindest gesture would be to adopt mongrels. These Indian breed dogs are equally active, loyal and friendly as any other hybrid dogs. These mongrels have high resistance against diseases compared to the pedigree dogs. If any of you are planning to have a dog as a pet, please do adopt these mongrels. Their beauty lies in their loyalty and they look equally healthy and strong when taken good care. Active adoption of stray dogs solve the dog problem to a major extent and added to that, the dog will get a much better quality of life than on street. A dog will love you and will always be yours unconditionally. They have a lot of love and affection to give and the only thing they expect in turn from us is a bit of concern and care. These humble creatures have always helped mankind in many ways. Don't you think it's our turn to do something towards their well-being? I would like to convey a small little message to all of us uh, uh, around here. People who want to adopt dogs or you know get new pups and things like that. SPCA or Cupa, then you can actually see a lot of stray dogs and mongrels which are there. They are very cute pups there, you know. You have to go and take a look at that. Uh, I picked up my dog, uh, Ruben, from there. He is five years now, okay? He's a very healthy dog. But he wasn't like that when I picked him up from there. And uh, he had um, a bow leg, calcium deficiency, a lot of ticks, not good fur, so many things. But when I picked him up, he was, you know, such a sweet dog and he is really a very nice dog. You would see his snaps. And uh, basically, today he's a healthy dog, very good company. And uh, he's everything that a Labrador or a Dalmatian or anything would be. So people should actually, you know, take into consideration that stray or mongrels are as good as any other dog. The joy a pet gives can neither be explained in words, nor can it be shown visually. It can only be felt. Try feeding the stray dog today. You'll find out yourself.